Good morning, everybody. My name is Kata, and I am here with your Tuesday topic. Today, we are going to talk about supplements. I had somebody specifically ask me about joint health supplements, and we will get to that. But before we do, I just want to give a brief overview about supplements. So when you're looking at adding in something new, so non-food related to your program, the first question you wanna ask yourself is what problem am I hoping to solve by adding this supplement into my routine? So supplements are meant to be supplemental. They are not meant to be a replacement for healthy nutrition and exercise and sleep and water and um, meditation, you know, stress relief, things like that. They are not meant to replace those things. They are meant to supplement those things. So if your nutrition is really poor and you're not getting a lot of sleep and you're not exercising, taking supplements is not necessarily going to fix the problem that you are hoping to solve. That being said, there are times when adding in a supplement may be a good idea. So I had somebody ask me about joint health supplements, so glucosamine chondroitin, things like that. For that specific supplement, the jury is still out. Some research shows that it can be beneficial and some research shows that it can actually cause more problems than it helps. So there have been a few studies done and one study showed that there was some benefit and people felt better. But when you look at the actual scans and when you actually look at the inflammation around the joints and people that have arthritis, there was no difference. Some people actually reported their symptoms getting worse. So the jury is out on the joint supplements, glucosamine, chondroitin, things like that. Most of the time with something like that, I would say, give it a shot. Make sure the supplement that you're purchasing is high quality and tested. So there are companies that will do independent testing to make sure that the ingredients are actually what is on the label and just try it out. And if you find that after a few weeks, you see some improvement, you feel better, go ahead and keep doing it. If after a few weeks, your symptoms are worse and you don't feel better, that may just mean that that particular supplement does not work for you and for your condition. As with anything, always talk to your medical care team when you're adding something new in. Some supplements, even seemingly harmless ones like glucosamine and chondroitin, can have interactions with other medications that you may be taking, such as warfarin. So make sure you are talking to your medical care team anytime that you are considering adding something in and always let them know whenever you are taking over-the-counter items in addition to your prescribed ones. If you have any further questions about supplements, especially a particular one or just supplements in general, go ahead and comment below. And if you have any other topics that you would like me to discuss in our Tuesday topic, go ahead and put those below as well. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next week.